What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to do a quick unboxing for this new item that I just bought for our upcoming trip to Daytona. So stick around. Alright guys, so like I said, I got a new product that I'm about to unbox. I purchased it for our upcoming trip to Daytona, but before I dig into that, let me give you a little bit of a backstory. So I recently got the King Tour Pack, as a lot of you guys know, but before that, all I had was a little backrest and a luggage rack, and for long trips, I would use a bag strapped to the, the luggage rack. Um, kind of like a Viking bag or something like that. You guys have seen them, kind of a tall bag, has a roll on the top. Put all my luggage in there, all my clothes and everything for road trips. So got the new King Tour Pack, obviously can't use that anymore. Um, but I still need more space because like I was just telling somebody the other day, um, having this Tour Pack and this extra space, it's kind of like having more money. The more money you have, the more money you spend, right? So got this extra space on the bike now, but it's already kind of spoken for, you know, with all the, the equipment and camera stuff and electronics and things that we take when we go on road trips, um, that space is kind of spoken for, along with wanting to save room in there for my full face helmet, which I like to keep in there because I don't always use it, but I want to have it on a road trip. So have all that stuff in there, still need something for my actual clothes, you know, my jeans and my shirts and my, my skivvies, right? So um, Rick Rack and some other companies make really nice bags that will latch right onto the rack on your tour pack, right? Well, I don't have a rack on my tour pack and quite honestly, I don't think I'm gonna be getting one. Uh, I kind of like the look of it without it. So that set me down the path of trying to figure out what I was gonna do. Sure, I could just take one of my bags that I have and just kind of throw it in the back seat, strap it down behind me, whatever, but it doesn't look the greatest and it's not the most convenient. So that kind of got me looking on the internet and I ended up finding um, a bag that's actually meant to fit on the passenger seat behind you between the rider and the tour pack backrest, right? So it's kind of shaped almost like a half circle. Um, saw that online, was looking around, did some checking out, found a good price on it. Went ahead and bought that. Uh, full disclaimer, I purchased that, so that's that wasn't a freebie. So this is, you know, nothing like that. Uh, so now it came. I'm gonna open it up, check it out, give you my first impressions, and then I will use it going down to Daytona. And when I get back, some point, we'll give it a little review, and I'll tell you what I thought of it. Actually, you know how it worked in action. So my hope is that it can go right on that back seat. I can have my actual clothes in there. When we get you know, to a hotel or wherever, I could just pull that off and take that in with me. Um, so I got the box here. I'm gonna pop it open and we'll check it out. There's who it's from, Saddleman. I've never actually had anything from Saddleman. I've heard good things, but um, let's check it out. up pretty good. Guys, we got two weeks from today, we're heading down to Daytona, and I couldn't be more excited. I'm gonna throw this down here, and then I will pull it out. Oh, it's good size, man. I was worried about how big it would be. It's actually, very, very good size. I was worried it wouldn't be big enough, but look how big that is. So let's get it out of this plastic without cutting it. All right, set this down. So there it is, man. It actually, right now, comes already wrapped in the rain cover, which is really nice that it had one of these, you know, because every road trip you go on, you're getting wet. All right, so let's go ahead and let that caught on something, loosen this up, take this off. Ooh. 
put this back here. Man, this is this is really much bigger than I thought it would be, which is actually fantastic. Um, I knew in the pictures they showed it with a full face helmet inside and some clothes. So I had a, was hoping it would be good size. So here you got, this is how it would sit, right? And I'd be up here. So this will be where my back goes. You got a couple pockets right here. Put stuff in on each side. All right. It's also got these straps here that I guess if you were using it to put on a rack in the back of your bike, like behind the, the sissy bar or backrest, you'd be able to cinch it down. It's got a bunch of uh, these little D-rings that you can use for strapping it down. Some more pockets here. Some quick access pockets in here on both sides. Really nice, big, solid uh, zipper grip thingies. All right. You got some saddle and stickers, it looks like. Handle on the top. Now at the back of it, another pocket. For some more stuff that you can get to quickly when you're riding or at a stop. All right. So the main opening is somewhere to be had. There it is. Oh, that's not it. Where is it? Oh, here it is on the back. All right. Wow. Guys, this is uh So here we got some straps. Some extra straps and uh actually this is a uh to put on and you can actually use it as a backpack if you need to carry it into your hotel or wherever. A couple of these nice little tasty do not eats. Man, this is guys, this is a ton of space, man. I actually was not expecting it to be so big. Also has more of these D-rings all along the bottom for more points of potentially uh, strapping it down. Uh, very thick sidewalls. It's got a nice nylon material. I really like though, all these uh, little handles for the zippers are all nice and big. Be easy to, to grab with a glove, you know, if you're wearing a glove, which we might be, because it might be cold when we set out. So, you got the nice Saddleman logo right there. This is super nice, guys. Just first, first impressions is it really looks like a nice quality. You know, I've heard a lot of good things about Saddleman. Never actually had any of their stuff. Um, you know they make good seats from what I hear that look nice but uh this has a lot of ex extra little pockets you got these little side mesh ones that you can slip something into if you need to get to it while you're riding you know it's kind of tight though I don't know they showed like putting maps or some paperwork in there but I'd be afraid it was gonna fly away but pretty cool I dig it um I'm looking forward to using it. I'm gonna be able to throw pretty much, this is huge. I'm gonna be able to throw all my clothes in here, probably even a pair of shoes. Plenty of room for shirts, t-shirts, underwear, socks, which I take more than two pairs of socks. There's some people out there on the internet, they go on week long trips with only two pairs of socks. Can you imagine? Anyway, so there it is. Uh, I'm pretty stoked. This was running, uh, so I looked on several sites. Obviously, I looked on the Saddleman site. I looked on uh, Cycle Gear, uh, a couple other the, of the, the popular motorcycle companies that do this kind of this kind of stuff. And it was going for about 200, 210. Um, I actually found the exact same one on Amazon. So I got this on Amazon. We'll put the link um, in the in the drop down below. I got this on Amazon for a buck fifty. So with like uh, tax. And I believe I had uh, Prime, so I didn't have to pay shipping. It was about 161 for this, going for 200 on their Saddleman website. Not too bad, right? So I'm looking forward to using it, guys. Um, once I get back, you know, I can do a quick little update on how it went and how it functioned and all that jazz, and uh, let you know if I think it was worth the money. But uh, just guessing from right now. Um, I'd say it was. I, I'm, I'm just still kind of 
not overwhelmed, but very impressed with the size of it, the, the inside of it. There's a lot more size than I thought it would, would have. And I'm, uh, I'm kind of excited about that because sometimes I like to overpack, especially on a long week, week or longer trip. All right, guys um thanks for watching again this is the saddleman um it's called the back seat bag i believe it was called but uh, i'll list that down below and you guys can uh go to it if you need to you can click on the link um thanks for watching guys let me know what you guys use for uh for luggage on long trips for bags what uh what brands you like um i'm not loyal to any specific brand like i said this is my first saddleman but uh We'll see how it goes. You know, I'm always open for other suggestions, but uh, for right now, I'm going to be using this. So we'll see you on the next video, guys. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, click that, the, the um, bell notification, and uh, we'll see you next time. Later. Later.